Fragrance Hall. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be cracking into a Fragrance by CA Fragrance Hall that I picked up. I got about three fragrances. Going to do a quick first impressions, but I did want to announce that they have a sale going on and there's quite a few details to talk about. This sale is going to be more than just your typical put in a code and that's it. No, but if you click the links down in the description, it'll take you to the site where they've hidden 21 eggs in product pictures across the website. And each each egg that you find, you will find a letter or a secret letter next to it. If you find all 21 eggs that spread out across the website, it basically gives you this secret code. Across the website, they've got a bunch of fragrance riddles and little sequential clues that'll help you find some of those letters next to or find the eggs with the letters next to it. So across the website, they're gonna have a bunch of like little fragrance riddles and some clues to help you find those eggs. And the answer to those fragrance riddles are gonna be the fragrance that you wanna look up and you'll find the egg next to that. It'll give you that, that letter. So basically the first person to enter in the full sequential code or the full secret code is going to get any riddle product so any one of those riddles that you solved and whatever fragrance it was you could pick any one of those and you get $250 uh, as a first prize the second prize also gets any riddle product as well so let's say if one of the uh, fragrance riddles was Dior Homme the answer you could pick Dior Homme or whatever other answer it was but you also get $100 for the second prize. And the third prize winner is any Riddle product without that cash bonus or without the gift card bonus, bonus I should say. There is a 24 hour exclusive early hunter, buy one, get one 25% off discount. And it's usually revealed when you solve the riddle. So if you solve the riddle, you'll get the 25% off discount code. And then after 24 hours, so after March 29th, specifically March 30 at 10 a.m., the discount will be reduced to buy one, get one 20% off, so 5% off. And, uh, but the code will remain the same. So if you don't figure out that riddle the first day, the second day, you could still utilize that buy one, get one, except instead of 25%, it's gonna be 20%. So I guess they're trying to spice things up. That's pretty cool. I do get a, quite a few fragrances from Fragrance by CA. They are one of the uh, discounters that I, that I check out quite frequently. So check out the description. I'll put in all the details and the links and everywhere you need to click and find your you know, little riddle answers. But hey, have fun. <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting. So knock yourselves out. Today, we're gonna be talking about three fragrances I picked up I wanted to add to my collection and I found them to have the, the right price. First one is gonna be Carolina Herrera Passion. And then the next one was Idole Parfum for women. And lastly, I wanted to get Saharian Wind. You know who you are out there that's been suggesting this one like 30 times every single live stream. Hey, Saharian Wind, Neve, you're gonna love this one. So we're gonna find out, am I actually going to love this one? In the meantime, I'm gonna pull up the notes for uh, the Carolina Herrera Passion. This one in specific, I really enjoyed the way that it sounded because of the fact that it has that note of iris. I saw a few comparisons to the original Diorome and I really wanted to see. So this is classified as woody, amber, powdery iris, and it's got notes of olibanum, neroli, pepper, iris, myrrh, some cedar, and sandalwood. There's quite a few notes to this one, actually. Not bad quality. This has a leather strap around it, the CH on there, and the cap snaps onto place. So first impressions, let's see what this one's all about. Is it something that I like? Here we go. Nice atomizer. Not bad. Warm, resinous. I'm getting more resin than anything. A little bit of neroli, some peppers. I do get that little hint of some iris for now, which is starting to increase a little bit. Okay, yeah, sure. It does have that similar lipsticky makeup Dior Om original iris, but it's not like the star player, at least not yet. For me, for the most part, it seems like this is going to be that myrrh and olibanum focused fragrance and more peppery, definitely more peppery than most iris fragrances I'm used to. Well, at least at the top, I can kind of see the, the comparisons. It smells like Dior Homme, the original in the backdrop. I mean, like maybe 40% in the back there. Dior Homme, the originals really stars around that cedar, a lot of cedar and iris. This one's a lot spicier. You get a very, very hefty dose of pink pepper in the opening, but you also get a hefty dose of the myrrh as well. Resinous, some neroli. Neroli is kind of muzzled out by those resins, but it's still there. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. I can see the comparisons. So let's see how this one is on skin while we move on to the next fragrance. I'm digging this. In the opening, it was kind of spicy, resinous, maybe a little bit of neroli, but it wasn't the first thing to hit me really. The first thing to hit me was that myrrh and pink pepper. The pink pepper is definitely going to be one of the first things you notice. It's 
pretty strong. So we'll let this one dry down just a little bit. I'm getting pink pepper and olibanum for now. Not really much of the neroli, etc. The opening I'm not ecstatic about, but as this one started to warm up, at least on the tester, it was really good. So let's move on to the next fragrance. And this one is called Idole Le Parfum for Women. I, I do grab a lot of fragrances for women, gentlemen, because of the fact that uh, if I'm going to review or recommend a fragrance in general, I feel like I should own them or at least live around them. If I'm going to give a genuine recommendation or impression, etc., I should at least live with the bottle. Bottle, not sniff it one time and just say, hey, this is the sexiest fragrance on earth because it could potentially dry down to something else, etc. So what I like to do sometimes, I'll spray it either on skin when I'm at home going to bed or just leave it on a tester strip and kind of sniff it throughout the day. But for the most part, sometimes I'll rock it to bed just to see, is this something that I could envision or like to sniff on a woman? So from memory, I remember thinking that this is a good signature daily scent for, for a woman. It's got notes of like pear, bergamot, pink pepper, rose, jasmine, some musk, vanilla, and cedar, and patchouli. Yeah, a really good, well-rounded signature scent for a woman. Focusing a lot on this pear and rose combination. Gentlemen, this could be an easy gift for a lady. It's floral, it's fruity, it's gonna dry down to some musks and vanillas. A lot of rose and pear essentially is what this fragrance smells like. As it dries down, it gets a lot sweeter as well, but there's really not much to dislike about this fragrance. You do have to enjoy the note of rose though, ladies, or gentlemen that are gifting your ladies. They do have to enjoy the, ro the uh, rose note. But the jasmine is also contributing a little bit of this natural sweetness, which is enhanced even more by the vanilla sweetness. So it's a relatively sweet fragrance that you can get away with for a lot of parts in the year. So not bad. And I think that that would be a great signature scent for a lady who really carries herself, you know, pretty elegantly. It's more sophisticated than just your daily freshie that you can just rock. It seems pretty strong off the top. It's gonna project pretty well. And I would personally compliment a lady that uh, wears something like that. So the la next and the last fragrance is gonna be Saharian Wind by Mancera. This is a fragrance that was suggested to me by a couple of viewers in the live chats at least I forget exactly who it is but it's this spicy leather fragrance with some tobacco vanilla amber patchouli once I looked at the notes I realized that yeah this is probably going to be something that I really enjoy it looks like it's gonna be woody spicy aromatic I'm all about that man Saharian wind by Mancera let's check this one out high freaking hopes for this one man here we go. Oh yeah, a decent dose of lavender. A decent dose of lavender. I'm getting lavender, I'm getting spices, aromatics, woody, cypress. I definitely get this piney woods, lavender. Yo, gentlemen, this is a great fragrance. If you like spicy woods, this is a great fragrance, but it does have a hefty dose of lavender. I mean, it smells like I dripped some essential oil of lavender into the mix of whatever this fragrance was without it. So a pretty distinct lavender, at least for now, it kind of reminds me of the whole lavender tobacco combination in like the original Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme but definitely much more than just that. It has that tobacco lavender combination, a lot more spices, more full bodied. Yeah, I think that that Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme is a classic. I'm not saying that it smells like this. I'm just saying that that combination of the tobacco and lavender, it's very, very distinct. And if you know that Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that tobacco lavender, old school shop, barber shop tobacco vibe. It's here at least now for the opening. I'm hoping that it kind of tones down and levels off a little bit, but even then, even if not, this is a great fragrance. So far, initial impression, I'm like, I an eight and a half. If that lavender tones down, it'll be like a solid nine. First impression wise though, I have to see how well this one's gonna wear, but it does give it like this frothy shaving cream type of vibe as well. So frothy in the shaving cream sense, along with those cypress and piney vibes and very masculine lumberjacky almost with spices. This isn't spicy in like the Middle Eastern realm. The woods exceed the spices or the level of spice in this one. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty freaking good. Yeah, I'm digging this one. I'm getting this very slight, very slight undertone, something mentholated, but uh, there isn't anything in here that's mentholated. I'm thinking it's just a combination maybe of like the cypress, lavender, etc. but for whatever it's worth, I think that this is a fantastic opening. If you like those lavender vibes, masculine barbershoppy fragrances, and you like spicy woods, this is a great one. I like all of those, honestly. So let's check out the Carolina Herrera Passion for Men on skin, and let's see what phase it might be in on my skin for now. Okay, so I'm getting something sweet. The iris quality from Dior Homme original to this one, it's definitely not the same. This is like 40% the uh, similar quality to Dior Homme, the original. Sorry, fellas, it's not gonna be like that close, honestly. I can definitely get the comparison though. There is that very slight iris cedar like in the backdrop of the whole fragrance, but I'm getting much more of like this amber woods, vanilla, tonka, sandalwood combination right now. And I still pick up the myrrh. Basically, what I'm getting right now is a lot of this myrrh along with some slight bits of the iris and the uh, cedarwood with some dusted sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka bean. Overall, 
not bad. This actually smells pretty good. I would recommend rocking this one during the fall and the springtime, springtime during the nights, and even during the winter. This actually smells pretty good, and it's gonna be my scent of the night. But I think that it deserves its respects in, in terms of being its own fragrance. The opening is pretty peppery. You get a lot of olibanum, slight Middle Eastern Oriental vibe because of the combination of the pink pepper, the olibanum, and the myrrh. But then you also get a pretty hefty dose of that iris within the first 20 seconds in the cedar. So it kind of shifts pretty quickly, but it really holds on to mostly the resins. Definitely going to be more resin dominant, resins and woods. I personally didn't get too much neroli. I do get hints of it in the opening, but everything else overtakes it and really overshadows it for me personally. I don't really pay too much attention to the note of neroli because of all of those dense base notes that are shining through right from the top, specifically the pink pepper though. The pink pepper is kind of overshadowing anything else. Otherwise, I do get the iris. It does have that slight makeup bag. I would say about 40% of something like that with that myrrh, the, the vanilla, sandalwood, and the tonka bean. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my latest fragrance haul from Fragrance by CA. Happy egg hunting. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, peace.